Here's the deal with uh, a fetus with gastroschisis. You know, most of these kids do great after birth. The only exception is those who have significant bowel damage before birth. So the only issue about intervention for gastroschisis before birth is whether you, there's something we could do to prevent ongoing bowel damage. The bowel is presumably damaged by being outside the abdomen and floating in the amniotic fluid. And the damage could either be from the amniotic fluid itself on the bowel or from coming through a small hole in the belly and, and not getting enough uh, blood or draining enough blood. So the only issue about intervention for gastroschisis, which is interesting but unproven, is whether uh, doing something like exchanging the amniotic fluid periodically, essentially washing it <laughs> of components that would injure the bowel, would be helpful. Um, uh, or if you had a very tight hole in the abdominal wall, would it help to actually make it a little bit bigger? Amniotic fluid exchanges, essentially put a needle in, uh, take out some amniotic fluid, put in some fresh, clean stuff, uh, and then do that periodically uh, in, in the hopes that you would clean up the amniotic fluid and save damage to the bowel. The, uh, it's an interesting thing um, probably and unproven.